Hey everybody, this is Andrew the Moo, and boy have I got a boss fight for you. This is from Bloodborne. Yes, I am still playing that game, even though Dark Souls 3 is out. And I figured it's been a while since I've released a boss battle, and so I, I've got to admit that uh, this boss is a bit more difficult than I thought it would be. And even at my leveled up state, I thought, okay, hey, I can take care of this boss. Because, you know, I've taken care of everything else by myself. Nope. Vicar Amelia. Whole lot harder than I thought she would be. So I got a little help. But I've learned that if you can stay behind her and boop her on the bottom, you know, uh, you can do pretty well against her. But it also helps when you do have that extra help in the uh, level that's uh, someone that can kind of uh, aggro her and uh, take the difficulty away from the boss fight because instead of attacking you she's going to attack your friend so yeah I kind of feel cheap for doing this because uh, at certain points I'm allowing the other person to play cannon fodder and uh, it's what ended up happening but I did get a, a good Good visceral attack in on her head. Did not do as much damage as I would have hoped at that moment, but any bit of damage is good damage. As you can see, really and truly, Vicar Me is like all the other bosses in the Bloodborne, you know, or, or we'll say the uh, Darkborn, Blood Souls, Darkborn, whatever. You know what I'm talking about, the Soul series. You want to stay in her, you know, her rear view. That is, you want to stay and hug that booty. But uh, she's got a number of different attacks. If you try to move away from her, you see, like, just then she threw both, her, both of her fists to the ground and created a shockwave. And, but, you know, really and truly, if you stay behind her, you shouldn't have any real big problems against her. So, uh, yeah, the big problem that you're going to have is you're in kind of a confined space. She's a bit large. And you see attacks like that will do a good a bit of damage. You know, just take a moment, assess your surroundings, get that attack in as you can. Glad that I picked out the heavy axe. This is a different uh, this is a different save file from the one that I was using earlier. The other one I was using the soft lever here, and I'm now using the heavy axe that was once used by uh, Father Gascoin. Because truth be told, it does a whole lot more damage. Now, there's something you need to be aware of. As you can see, I'm getting her energy wore down at this moment. And you know, she's going to do her slash attacks. But there's something else she's going to do in just a moment that you need to be well aware of. Let's see if she does it in just a moment. Yeah. No, not yet. Let's see, she's going to start glowing yellow. I thought she was going to do it a second ago because she started glowing yellow. Come on. Slashy, slashy, and... Alright, right now she's glowing yellow. Look at her health as quickly as it goes up. If you can hit her with a, 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 a strong attack, it's going to knock her out of that. You're going to want to do that as fast as possible because I think she can actually do her health all the way up if you allow her to. So, uh, you don't want to do that. You don't want to make Vicar Amelia any harder than she actually is. As you can see, like, me having cannon fodder has been very helpful. And, uh, Vicar Amelia with that is about to be dead. She knocked me away. She knocked me away. So, why not? Why not? You saw the, uh, the shockwave attack. I think my friend just got the last, or is about to get the last attack on her. Yeah, one of us did. I don't know. But anyway, Vicar Me is dead at that. My prey has been slaughtered. So yeah, with that, Amelia is dead, and I point. Good job. I can't remember who you are, what your name is. But now we're going to walk over to the uh, lantern. We're going to light it. We're going to touch the skull and watch a cutscene.
soul of the blood, made many by the blood, undone by the blood. Our eyes are yet to open. Fear the old blood. I must take my leave. And with that, we will eventually have another Bloodborne, Dark Souls, Demon, you know, whatever. You know, we're going to have... Oops. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we will come back a little bit later with another Bloodborne boss, maybe Dark Souls. I've got a Dark Souls 1 boss that I need to share, as well as a Dark Souls 2 boss. And we're going to be getting some of the Dark Souls 3 bosses out of the way. But instead of doing a guide or something of that nature like a lot of people do, I've just been doing the boss fights. But anyway, this has been Andrew the Moo, and I greatly appreciate you sharing this time with me. Hope you have a great day. Later!